Hey everybody, this is Dave at Polygon. Sigrun isn't just the toughest Valkyrie in God of War, she's the hardest enemy in the game. So in this guide, we'll show you how to defeat her in the Council of Valkyries. She appears after you've killed all of the other Valkyries. So why is Sigrun so hard? Well, because she comes packing basically every Valkyrie attack you've seen thus far all in one fight. So in this video, we're gonna teach you the bulk of them. As with all Valkyrie fights, you want a full Spartan Rage meter and the best quality Resurrection Stone before you start the fight. But you should not start off the fight with dual Runic attacks. If you do, she's gonna take off a chunk of your health. Instead, start by blocking. Once you're done blocking, she's gonna transition into one of her numerous attacks. Here's a rundown of what you can expect and what you should do when you see them. Every time Sigrun jumps into the air, fire arrows at her. If you do it quickly enough, you'll interrupt her next attack. If you don't, you can expect one of the following. Her blinding attack makes the arena foggy, which makes her harder to spot. Keep firing electric arrows at her, as it makes her slightly more visible and easier to dodge. Her AoE attack unleashes unblockable energy and takes off a ton of health. This is almost unavoidable if you miss your opportunity to interrupt her with arrows. Her smash attack has her jumping straight up and then slamming down on Kratos dodge out of the way. Warning though, she may do this multiple times in a row. If she does, just keep dodging and try to get a little damage at the end. In her dive bomb attack, she comes right at Kratos. Listen for the scream and be ready to dodge out of the way. Again, she may do this multiple times in a row, but you should be able to get a little damage in when she's done. Now that you know her air-based attacks, here are the projectile attacks she can throw at you. For one, she'll hover and fire energy waves at Kratos. If she fires them in a batch of three, you can block them. The single wave, however, is unblockable. Look for the red circle and dodge out of the way. Her ice attack will start with a volley of small ice shards. Block those, but when she pauses, be ready to dodge out of the way of the large ice ball that comes your way. In another projectile attack, she'll sweep her scythe, sending a wave of energy your way. Pivot left or right and dodge it. When she raises her hands up, she'll call down sky energy, causing parts of the floor to ignite. Avoid the red circles on the ground, but keep your eye on Sigrun. She'll dodge to the side and then straight at Kratos with a stabbing wing. You can't block that, so dodge out of the way. Lastly, an easy one. When she fires smoky knives at you, just block them. And that's it for the projectile attacks. They don't give you a lot of chances to attack, so just wait them out and survive. When Sigrun is on the ground, she remains a serious threat. Here are some of the things she'll throw at you. For one, she'll dash to the side and then head right toward Kratos and try and stab him with a wing. Dodge the wing, but be ready to block because she can follow that up with a number of other attacks. Sigrun can also raise her wings as a shield. If you're far away from her, just keep blocking. But if you're close, you can block break her by tapping L1. If you do this successfully, you can sneak in a runic attack to deal some decent damage. If she starts swiping her scythe at you, keep an eye out for the yellow circles. Those indicate that you can parry her attack. If you succeed, she'll once again be opened up for a quick runic attack. Lastly, if she starts spinning her staff, dodge away to avoid the AOE, and then be ready to dodge a follow-up spinning attack right after. Those are basically all of her moves, but you never really know when she's gonna combo two of these together in a weird way, or even more than two. So you should always be alert and ready for the worst. The big key in this fight is to assume the worst. Sneak in quick attacks when you can, but never get super aggressive because she'll destroy you. If you're patient and dedicated, you'll eventually take her down. Your reward? The epic enchantment Nord's Temporal Stone and the epic Axe Pommel Retribution. 